I feel like ending all the shows. Oh, that was he was saying it because you're frustrated. Multiple times. He was like, I don't know what the future of this gonna be. I don't know like if I want to continue to do this. Any of the shows, he was I'm stressed. Gonna, I'm gonna cut them. Like so, when you hearing like, oh, you gonna cut the shows? We like, wait a minute. For some of the hosts, you know, that's their livelihood. That's all they do. Mm-hmm. That's all they got. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. But I, I like it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest with you. I thank you guys. I, hey, man, listen, man. Y'all, y'all got some special up there on the West Coast, man. Y'all boys better. Hey, y'all better keep this thing going for oh, us, bro. We, uh, in yeah. the south, baby. Hey, we ain't playing. Nah. Yeah, man, yeah. We just so, looking forward to the future. <laughs> so moving forward to the day that um, y'all left, no jumper. Oh. I want to fast forward to that. Okay. What built up to y'all leaving? Um, just, I, I, I'm going to honestly say, just a lot of misunderstandings. I think if any in anything is always communication. Exactly. And it can come from both sides mm-hmm. of the fence. So, you know, I'm going to take my, um, my part in it. You know what I'm saying? Just communication. Yeah. And if, if I'm feeling a certain type of way, or if he's feeling a certain type of way, we just bottling that stuff, and then it ends up, Turning into other things, and, yeah. and 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 when you want to be able to, to 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 like each other when you working with each other, like coming to do these shows shouldn't feel like a chore, and it shouldn't feel like you know oh, I just got to come and do this for the money real quick. It should just be energy because at one point in time it was great energy with everybody involved. It was it, it was, we was knocking it out the park, and and you know I don't know along the lines. That energy and that that wanting to be on the platform and willingness, um, it, it kind of went away. When did that start going down? When? Did- um, I don't, I honestly don't know. I think maybe once we started starting our shows and I stuff like that. that. Yeah, once we started our own shows and and I, and you know, I was transparent from the start. Like, hey, I want to do this, and you know. Uh, did he motivate y'all to, to go ahead and start your own show? A hundred percent. Well, because the people around him. Before I came, you know, they basically, he was basically pushing them to do things and they weren't really doing it. So I was the one that came around and was like, hey, look, you throwing a, throwing a ball on my court? I'm about to come. Hey, I'm trying Knocking to dunk. The park. I'm trying to dunk every time. Dunk. And also, you know, seeing what's going on, like, let me start my own as well. Right. You know, and that's my legacy. This is your legacy over here. I'm mm-hmm. here to help you. I'm here to, you know, perform and do what I got to do. Let me start this over here now because, you know, I have a difference of opinion. It's a different ways that I want to run business. Can't tell you how to run your business, but, you know, I could build my baby over here. And I ain't never thought that, like, that would be a leading factor or, you know, things would happen, office drama. Just everything started whirlwind and super fast and it, it ended up becoming uncontrollable. Did, was it after the, after the, um, was it after you guys started your, your 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 own platform that he talked about the four? You only got four jokes and all that. No, he ain't. I mean, he never told me that. Well, um, it, it, I mean, uh, he just. Uh, well, how did that come about? Huh? Um, it was a private conversation between him and another host. What Lush? Lush. <coughs> um, yeah, Lush. Um, yeah, because before that, I had a talk with him, and he was just like, "Oh, you know, me and him." I would call him out. We would get into it. We wouldn't see an eye to eye on a lot of things. And he hit me up. He was like, hey, I think in order for a friendship to remain, um, it's best that I don't have you on a Tuesday show no more. And when he told me that, I was like, I was like, he was like, how you feel about that? And I was just like, hey, it is what it is. Like, it's business. <clears throat> but how did you really feel about it? Because one thing I know about men or human beings, you'll say that, but you really feel a certain way on the inside. Honestly, like, I didn't really feel no way because I'm like, okay, I got my Wednesday show. I got my food show. Um, and Wednesday's a big show mm-hmm. too, right? It's a big show too. It's a big show. So I was never meant to be a permanent okay. on the Tuesday to, to begin with. So yeah. I always knew from day one, they always told me like, um, you here until we find somebody else to do this stuff too. So, uh, yeah, I didn't really feel no way about it. Only, re- only time I felt something about it is when I heard that it was like more layers to the situation. So it's like, oh, well, it's the same four jokes. Is this? Is this and is that? And I'm like, damn, I ain't know that. Like, and that, how did you hear about the private conversation that him and Lush had? Because Lush was <laughs> shout out to Lush, man. But what? Lush, Lush is a real honest person. He has to do it for his sobriety. But he went on um, Discord, and I guess was 
telling the Discord people like the conversation him and Adam had. And the Discord people came back and told me. Mm. And that's when I feel defended because I was like, okay, I'm thinking that we homies, we cool, and we're going to continue to do business together. And then I'm hearing like, you don't even like me on the show. So that's kind of like, um, that's kind of like what fucked me up. I was like, oh, you got four jokes. You got this, you this, whatever, whatever was said. And I was like, damn, like, to me, that's kind of harsh. And if you're going to say that shit, say that shit to me. Uh, that's right. But prior to that, you know how sometimes we get hints and we get clues about certain things, and but we turn a blind <coughs> eye to it? Did you ever get any clues, certain things that happened? Oh, yeah. And you're like, you know what? Because a, a lot of controversy started to happen. And, you know, he would tell us, like, I feel like ending all the shows. Oh, that was, he was saying it because you're frustrated. Multiple times. He would like... I don't know what the future of this going to be. I don't know, like, if I want to continue to do this. Any of the shows, I'm, I'm going to cut them. Like, so when you're hearing, like, oh, you're going to cut the shows, we like, wait a minute. For some of the hosts, you know, that's their livelihood. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. That's all they got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, let me ask you this, AD. Like, like, you guys didn't know how to come in this situation. Uh, you wasn't, you did, had never did podcasting like that mm -hmm. before. I seen uh, Joe Budden go through the same thing when he first did his first run where they all split up. What, when you seen, when you come into this, I, I don't want to get in your business. Mm -hmm. I, I seen something where he said something about ten or $20,000 a month or whatever, but was he taking care of y'all? Because that, that's a hard thing in this world because you don't even know how these streets are going or how these shows are being paid for or what's going on with it. How would, how would you even walk up to that? And I think that's something that he might even had issues with, trying to understand that, right? So was it a thing where he had all that together or was it a thing where y'all was trying to figure that out too? And how many people were he paying? Correct. Like, and who know? wasn't he paying? Nah, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to say this. like The way I look at it, we was provided an opportunity that we will forever have skills and notoriety for. Um, I didn't go to that platform to get money. Okay. I, I, I came to that platform to further, nope. further my music career, and it ended up turning into something. And then once they gave me a check, I was just happy with the check. That's all. And it was, and, 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 and I'm, and I'm going to be honest, it was a good check. I wasn't like um, not paid what I think that I deserved, or mm -hmm. it is it is what it is. I just wanted to build new situations because what I got from the platform and what I got from just being on there, that's way more than what, the you know, I can get. Yeah, the right. knowledge and stuff too. So I wouldn't be starting my show. You know, t Real wouldn't have started his show. We wouldn't have what we have right now. So, you know, I'm always going to thank him for that, for even putting the ball in our court. So like I said, like I tell people all the time, there's no bad blood. There's ways you can look at it. And honestly, once you start talking about pay and you looking at things like that, then you in it for the wrong reasons anyway. Correct. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.